No, killing me won't make you feel any better. I don't feel anything anymore. Tech must be toast by now. Where did she go, Friday? Locating her now. She's trapped. Marking it on your HUD. She's losing her phasing ability. If she rematerializes in the hall, she'll die. Back off! I'm trying to save you. It's over, Ghost. It's finally over. I thought catching Ghost would be the highlight of my day, but catching a glimpse of Pepper as I stepped onto the helicarrier put my heart in the clouds. Sounds like I missed quite a party. I'll tell you all about it over dinner. I'd love that. We have something else to discuss. Oh, really? Transferring executive power at Stark Industries involves a lot of paperwork. Paperwork? We could be up all night. That's not that much. Ooh, now you're turning me on. <laughs> Look, no offense, but the reason I made you CEO is so I wouldn't have to do paperwork. 
The board says you made me CEO because you're better at running your mouth than you are at running a company. Hello, sir. Oh, thank God it's Friday. The prison has been placed in her cell. If you wish to say goodbye, now's your chance. We'll be right up. Pepper, we can avoid talking about this another time. Want to meet the ghost? Sure. I love chatting with people who try to kill me. We might make a superhero out of you yet. Oh, look. It's the ultimate power couple. Why'd you do it, Stark? Why'd you save me today? After all the lives you've taken, you spare mine. You need to pay for your crimes. I'm still paying for yours. And I'm broke. I'm sorry for what happened to you. <laughs> and the others? Tim Shung? Who was he? A real hero. Not the kind that cowers inside a metal suit. He spoke truth to power. And for that, your company had him killed. Stark Industries never had anyone killed. <laughs> wow. She's a funny one. So this is justice. They throw me in prison and throw you a parade. Actually, I don't think the city council's too happy with me. You'll never change, Stark. Even if you tried. It's too late. Your past has caught up with you. And one of these days, it'll take you down. I want to be there when that happens. If you're not, I'll give you the play by play when I get to hell. See you on the other side then. Until then. See you on the other side. Something a friend used to say. Tim Shung. Formerly. Back in the day, Stark Industries would... We would arm both sides of a conflict. We called it hedging our bets. Soulless. What about it? Tim Shung. Tim Shung. Is he... Gunsmith? Tony. Tim Shung, the name. It's an anagram for gunsmith. What the hell's the gunsmith? Mr. Stark, please report immediately to the map table. Mr. Stark, please report to the map table. Tony, get your ass over here now! Stark orbital lasers. Someone's reprogramming them. Given their trajectories, they'll be over the world's largest cities in the next five hours. I know a coordinated attack when I see one. Just never seen one on such a catastrophic scale. Ghosts do this? Not likely. Living laser? Not possible. New enemy, then? Or an old one? I might have created an artificial intelligence with diabolical ambitions. That sounds familiar. This one has my personality. <sighs> uh, Nick, I, I think your eye's twitching. Director Fury! What? Sir, the other carrier! How many crew aboard? None, sir. It was down for repairs from the previous ghost attack. Then why did they hit it? Old-fashioned, stark showmanship. Just a taste of what's to come. Oh, hey, boss. You know, it's funny me calling you that, since I don't work for you anymore. But you know what they say? Guns only do their job after they're fired. Which got me to think, how do we convince Stark Industries to make weapons again? How about a massive global attack to rally the world against a common enemy. I think I need to tweak your logic settings a bit. I figured you'd say that. Well, if you want to stop me, 
You know where I live. Gunsmith out. Sir, I've been booted off the home network. Time to suit up. No, wait! Gunsmith helped build your suit. He'll just hack it, use it against us. We need an alternative. Friday was right. The gunsmith had tailored my suit to his own toxic specifications. But I had an idea. In the back of the closet, past all the skeletons, there was this. And despite the dust and the years of neglect, it was clean. Pure. Or it would be soon enough. I pulled the Mark I out of the cave and put it back together aboard the helicarrier. Rewired it, reloaded it, and finally, to improve it, I installed my favorite co-pilot. Keep at it. You're breaking them down. Massive or not, this armor's not built to take punishment like this. The way you're fighting, looks like I was carrying the team after all. I should have destroyed you when I had the chance. But you couldn't, because deep down, you know I'm the best part of you. Uncharacteristic. Has S.H.I.E.L.D. found a way through this dome? Not yet, sir. Tell him to hold off. I got an idea. Sir? Who do we know that can walk through walls? Oh, sir. This sounds like a terrible idea. terrible idea. Maybe, but it's a move the gunsmith won't expect. Yeah, because it's terrible. She blew up your buildings, put Pepper in a hospital, and put countless lives in danger all to kill you. 
You really want me to take those cuffs off her? No. I'll do it. Hey, I'm as surprised as you. So, you need my help. Or my dad. He needs your help. I want to hear him say it. If I had another hour, I could probably recreate your tech. <sighs> In your dreams. What? It's basically just a quantum tunneling system? Just. Just a quantum tunneling system. Shut up! Both of you. Are you doing this? Because if not, I'm taking you back to your cell. You can't change the past. He's offering you a stake in the future. I want to speak to Stark. Alone. We're heading back. Prisoner is staying. Hope you know what you're doing. Last time I broke into your home, you weren't too happy about it. How do you know I won't leave you high and dry? And pass up a chance at revenge? Sir, there's a new energy surge radiating from the mansion. Copy. Stand by, Friday. If I do this, if I help you, we're not friends. Once he's gone, so am I. So be it. I need help. Finally, something we agree on. Nice moves. How do you manipulate your photons? Palladium helix. Overlapping acoustics? Nah, it's all way fronts. Shouldn't be using palladium, then. Don't tell me what to do. Whoa. This isn't what I signed up for. Time for plan B. I'm sticking with plan A. You got this. Better suit up. Smith 2.0. I'm thinking of renaming myself Tiny Stark. You know, because I'm so big. Okay, I'm in the mansion. I'll try to bring down this dome. Forget the dome. Help me bring down this giant idiot. Don't push me, Stark. Sir, your weapons are insufficient against his shielding. His code is beyond next level. But I am seeing some innate vulnerabilities in his armor. Defects. Defects? No, 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 no. That's my design. There are no defects. <laughs> if you say so, stand by. <clears throat> Sir, Ghost has exposed a vulnerability in his armor. Attack that glass jaw of his, Dark. This is my party, boss. And I didn't say you could bring a plus one. Especially not her. Your first armor versus your latest. And progress marches on. Right over you. I mean, seriously, Ghost trying to ruin you every possible way, and now you're teaming up. I know you've got body issues. You 
Ouch. Ignore him. He's wrong. Too much older than me. Get the pep talk, okay, ghost? So what? This is what I do guys. Just better than you. You set a low bar. down first. Stop wasting time shooting the hard light. Yeah. Armor damage increasing, sir. We're not doing any damage. dramatic when a bad roommate moves out. Two more vulnerabilities for you to target, Stark. You're welcome. You got soft in that cave, folks. Your heart bled all over my clothes. My master was ruined by your son love for you men. without arms. He's breaking down, Stark. Is that encouragement? It's a fact. Try not to die. Lost it when he 
couldn't make weapons anymore. Where did I go wrong? You could have changed the world. Give people a way to protect themselves. But you had to play a hero. The all things fall. Stark, I'm running out of vulnerabilities to expose. Change of plans. Why melt cities like ants with a magnifying glass? when I can crush them under these giant boots. For an AI that could be anywhere at once, he's chosen to chain himself to this physical form. Sorry. Ego. He gets an idea in his head and he goes all in. I can relate. object in his hardware. Something distinct from the armor. His hollow projector? I thought he got rid of that. Maybe he can't let go of the past. I can relate. Whatever it is, it's directly behind his chest plate. Can you expose it? I think so. But you'll have to get in close. <laughs> By the time I came to, Ghost was gone. I didn't bother looking for her. We had an understanding. The gunsmith was gone too. I hoped for good. But I'd retired him once before, only to bring him back when I thought I needed him. He was a lot of fun, until he wasn't. People like us have to be vigilant. Enemies don't take a day off, and neither can we. Some may come from our past, others from a past self, but we don't have to deny where we've been. We can learn from it and build something better. It took a ghost to remind me that this is in the end, a beginning. Thanks. Thank you for sharing.
I'm loving the new jet, Tony. Let's hope she holds together better than the last one. Sir, Miss Potts, may I remind you both that the entire governing body of Stark Industries is on this flight? The board's on board, we know. Then perhaps you should avoid making reference to the incident involving the previous Stark jet. They can't hear us. Can they? Hey, Nick. What's up? Surveillance satellite. One of ours. Yesterday, it started making its own orbital maneuvers. Today, it quit talking to us all together. Yeah, the kids call that ghosting. I call it suspicious. Check it out, will you, Tony? You got it. Pepper, change of plans. Let me guess. You can't make the company retreat in Maui. Actually, we can. I could use your help on something. Whatever. I'm sorry, repeat that? For a second there, I thought you asked for my help. Friday, explain to the board members that Miss Potts and I have official superhero business to attend to. Pepper, you ready? Where to? Space. Space? As in space space? Oh, you don't have to go if you don't want. Race you there! Miss Potts seems to be enjoying her new suit. Uh, perhaps a little too much. Friday, reduce the thruster output of Pepper's suit by uh, 30%. But be sneaky. So, considering for a second Miss Potts' happiness, how important is it that you get there first? Impaired. I'm Iron Man. 